Let's see how used coffee grounds provide amazing results when added to garden soil. Used coffee grounds make good soil amendments. That's the buzz among gardeners lately. But what is that the coffee pots left over really add to the soil? Coffee grounds provide generous amounts of phosphorus, potassium, magnesium, and copper. They also release nitrogen into the soil as they degrade. I will make separate videos of the uses of these elements and how to find out if your gardening soil has less or more of these three elements by just observing your plant's growth. Now we will see how to apply it to the garden soil. Spread the coffee grounds evenly on the area where you wish to plant. Dig or till them into the soil to a depth of 6 to 8 inches. When roto-tilled into a 6 to 8 inch depth will substantially improve availabilities of phosphorus, potassium, magnesium, and copper, and will probably reduce the need for chemical sources of these plant essential elements. Here is a research conducted by Soil and Plant Laboratory Inc. Bellevue, Washington. The nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium guaranteed analyses would be as follows for the coffee grounds. Nitrogen, 2.28%. Phosphorus, 0.06%. Potassium, 0.6%. Protein comprises over 10% of coffee grounds. In fact, the carbon to nitrogen ratio of coffee grounds can be ideal ratio for plant and soil nutrition, as low as 11 is to 1. The coffee grounds will negate the need for additional sources of phosphorus, potassium, magnesium, and copper when blended with mineral soils. Other benefits of adding coffee grounds to gardening soil. Coffee grounds have natural antifungal and antibacterial properties. Since coffee is extracted in water, the compounds that are not water-soluble, oils, lipids, triglycerides, and fatty acids, remain in the grounds along with cellulose and indigestible sugars. These compounds are reported to have antioxidant and antimicrobial properties. As for soil-borne diseases, coffee grounds do appear to suppress some common fungal rots and wilts. Fusarium, Pythium, and Sclerotinia, as well as some bacterial pathogens. E. coli and staphylococcus, so using your coffee grounds to the garden soil will help to enrich the soil nutrients and will also help in fighting against unwanted bacteria and fungus. The next time you ground your coffee don't forget to provide that extra nourishment to your soil with your grounded coffee remains.